New information on a story we brought you this week about 16 people indicted on bribery, illegal gambling, tax evasion and money laundering charges. Some of those people were first arrested and charged nearly a year and a half ago. Now, public records show that some of those people made campaign contributions to Bibb County's new district attorney, Anita Reynolds Howard. And some of those contributions came after they were arrested and jailed. Ashland Webb has been digging through the documents all day. Some of the names listed on Anita Reynolds Howard's campaign contribution reports are what you would typically see, like politicians, lawyers and law firms in town. But when you take a closer look, you can see some of the names are suspects and their businesses related to a racketeering and illegal gambling investigation conducted by current district attorney David Cook. This indictment lists 16 names, people facing charges of bribery, money laundering, tax evasion and illegal gambling in what current District Attorney David Cook calls a racketeering scheme. At least five of them donated to the campaign of incoming District Attorney Anita Reynolds Howard. They include Kunj Patel and Samir Patel, who each donated $2,500 each under their names to her campaign. Other suspects donated under their business's name, including former BSO Deputy Raheem McCarley, who owns the gas station at 2311 Pianono Avenue, according to the indictment. That business donated $2,800 to Howard last November after McCarley was arrested. Then this gas station on Rocky Creek Road donated another $2,800. Here in Patel owns that business, according to the indictment. Another name, Enos Odom, the former police chief in Ideal in Macon County. According to the Secretary of State Business Records, he owns the Hartley Bridge Sitco, which gave $500 to Howard's campaign. We confirm that people indicted in the illegal gambling case and their businesses donated over $11,000 to Anita Reynolds Howard's campaign. We brought this information to District Attorney Cook, who leaves office this month. He says it's not surprising these people offered money, but he did not expect to see Howard's campaign accept it. The involvement in this industry, which is one big criminal enterprise, is to bring in as many law enforcement officers and as many public officials as possible. Uh, the goal is to compromise and have them in their debt. Cook says he knew that if he went after those committing illegal financial crimes within the gambling industry, that he would not be their favorite. I knew that they would never uh, want to see me remain in office and I knew they would do everything they could to have someone else be in office. Now this issue over illegal gambling came up this spring even before voters in Bibb, Crawford and Peach counties were able to choose Howard over Cook. Howard said then that Cook was going overboard with prosecuting these business owners accused of running illegal gambling operations. Cook said that Howard was being supported by these business owners with their cash. Reporting in Macon, Ashland Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Now, as far as we know, it's not illegal for those suspects to donate to Anita Reynolds Howard's campaign or for her to accept their money. And nobody has suggested that she has shifted her position on gambling issues due to those donations. Starting Wednesday, we reached out to Anita Reynolds Howard to talk about the case. This afternoon, her staff emailed us a statement saying that as DA, she will fight violence in the community and she will enforce the law fairly for all but she did not address questions about the corruption case or the donations from suspects.